floss tube and welcome to my channel home sweet home handmade i'm natalie and i'm coming to you today from uh, north norfolk on the east coast in england um it's bank holiday monday today um so it's monday 31st august here in the uk we have bank holidays in august and two in may so most people are off work apart from unfortunately if you work in shops or hospitality so I'm off today and hubby is um, in the lounge trying to calm Betsy Cat down because she's meowing a lot. So hopefully you won't hear too much um, meowing in the background. So this is floss tube number six and today I'm going to talk about um, some finishes. Um, my projects I've been putting some stitches on since I saw you last time. Um, a little bit of haul and then I'm going to do part one of a whip parade there's quite a few so I'll do it in two parts so so I'm just going to start off by saying um, in my last video I showed you the um, frosty forest which I did and um, put in this hoop and I said that I would give away the chart and the winner of that is Susan Acevedo sorry if I, if I said that wrong and I'll just um, comment underneath your comment Susan um, and then if you could let me know your um, postal address details um, email them to me my email will be in the description box below okay so um, the next thing that I've this is I've finished this for a while but I'm not sure if I've shown you on floss tube um a good friend of mine who I did my nurse training with it's her birthday at the beginning of September and it's um, a significant birthday um I've told her not to watch this until until after her birthday so if you're watching this after hello Wendy so I decided I'd do her that little cushion. A friend is a gift you give yourself. Prairie schooler. One of those little cards. So I changed up the colours of the birds. Um, I didn't use a cord for. I just... Sorry, I haven't ironed this. Quite a sweet little cute design. It didn't take very long to stitch. So I need to finish this um, to get it in the post to her. And I chose some backing fabric. I think that goes with the birds quite well. And then I've also got some lace that I might put on as well. So I need to get that finished and then wrap it and put it in her birthday box. So that's the Prairie Schooler. A friend is a gift you give yourself. So that's my first. So I've got some finishing to do because I also finished this one as well. Hands on design stitch over two. This was a cell I did with Donna Ray, Glenel Jummy's farm. I did my stash for a while. And we both said that we'd like to do it together. So as always I did mine on Ada. So I did the top one. And I didn't use any of the called for colours. That's upside down. Hang on a minute. There we go. That's better. So I've got to stitch that up as well. And I'm going to use a piece of wool felt that comes with it. That sort of goes there. And I've got these. Just another button company. Um, strawberry pins I'm going to put in the wool felt 
So I'll show you that next time when I've finished it. Quite a sweet design. So, some whips that I've been working on are actually new starts from last time. And this one is Country Cottage Needleworks B Virtues. I have this in my stash and I decided to do it for um, Donna Ray's Bees Please sell that she did for the National Honey Bees Day. So, this is my progress so far. It's quite an open weave fader this is. It's a hand dyed one that I picked up on Etsy. Um, but I'll have to put some interfacing on the back because it's quite an open weave. And I've got some more pins as well ready to go in. B ones. So I'm hoping that that will be finished for next time I see you. Um, I'm going to make that into a little pillow. So another start from last time, so it's going to glare, is the Prairie Schooler Village Sampler. I'm doing this, most of what I stitch on is either 14, 16 or 18 count Ada. And I think this is a Zweigar Nougat that I've used before. I've just got a little start on that. Really loving that tree. So this will just be one that I might pull out for sampler September and try and finish um, the house, this house, for sampler September. tidy up as I go so I don't get in an almighty mess and then um, the next one is the one that I've been working on for a while and it's my stitch long piece with my sister Emily who is stitching from Gnome Cottage and I can show this because it's a free pattern on Not Forgotten Farms blog and it was for the Be Wise Be Well movement, I can't remember so I'm nearly nearly finished so all I've got is just that Be There really enjoyed this one And then after that, we're going to do um, another in the Be Well movement, Be Well and Stitch movement from Tiny Modernist. We're going to do the home, and I can show this because it's a free chart, but we're going to do this one, the home stitch home. So I've kitted up. Um, some grey and I've got some threads in there. I'm not going to use a call for colour so I've just put some threads in there. Some quite old anchors. Um, a couple of classic colour works. Yeah. So once I finish the bee's body, it shouldn't take too much time. Start home stitch home. Another one of my longer term whips that I've, I've shown you quite a few times is a gift from my friend Anne at the Silver Creek Samplers Dandy Dreams. 
So I've put a bit more, a few more stitches in this. It's not really calling to me. And this is stitched on 14 count fabric flare by Nostalgia. No, Nostalgia by Fabric Flare. So, a few more stitches, but it's my snail cross stitch piece slowly, slowly. And then I'm hoping then to go on to that one which I've shown you before the um, vintage anchor kit island um, for her for Christmas. So I must, by the time I see you next, I must have started this. Um, I think I told you she used to live in the Isles of Scilly so not that I've ever been there but I just thought that's quite appropriate so it's stored together and then a um, new star that I couldn't resist I got it kitted up straight away I wasn't going to start it, but I just couldn't resist. And this is Bent Creek Kitty Cat Row. And what attracted it to me was, of course, the little cat there. Betsy Cat. <sighs> I love this one. And I'm stitching it on a 14 count grey Ada that I had in my stash. And making quite good progress on this so far. So, yeah, love the Betsy Cat. So I'm enjoying that one. And I'm keeping this in my just get the pattern out. In a new bag that I got from uh, Patchwork Paw Print, who are local to me in Norwich. Oh, it's beautiful. Quilted. So I'll link her shop below. I think I did last time, but I'll link it again. So that's Kitty Cat Row by Bent Creek and that's stitching up really quickly. So I'm hoping to have most of that done pretty soon. I'm gonna try and get it framed in a similar colour frame. Um, this cat at the end is black, but I'm gonna change it to chocolate brown. So I've got a friend who's got a chocolate brown British short hair called truffle, chocolate truffle. So I'm going to change it to um, a dark brown. So, so that represents truffle on the end. Right. Um, so consulting my trusty notes as normal. So next section is haul, um, not too much this month. Um, I, I like to watch um, a floss tuber called um, April from April, May, June, Stitch A, you probably all watch her. And not in her last video, but the one before, she showed this book, Words to Stitch By, by Leisure Arts. Um, and I just found it on Amazon. I'll link it below. It's got some beautiful patterns in here. And I love that one. Because nice matters. So I think there's only like two colours in this one. I might switch up the border a bit. And I also like the one on the front as well. So... I got this from Amazon. It took a while to come. I think it's still available, but I'll link it below. 
And then the other item of haul I got was um, from uh, River Drift House Needleworks. And it's the Cozy Cat Mini Sampler. And due to go away on holiday for a week's holiday, just in this country, at the end of the month, and I think I might take this with me. So I've got the kit, and it comes with Ada and the threads as well. So it's really sweet. I really like that. So, the next thing I'm going to do is a bit of a... Um, whip parade because I've got so many I'm going to split this into two so it's going to be part one so the first thing I want to show you is um it's not cross stitch it's well it's back stitch and this is what it is and this is from an Etsy shop called Cotton Clara which I'll link below and I just saw this on her Instagram page and I just thought wow I loved the turquoise with the red and I just thought this would be a really good piece to stitch to remember us in lockdown so I've made a very and it comes as a kit with a hoop and everything um, and it's printed on the fabric and it's all back stitch I made a very small start on that. I'm hoping to pick that up again. I just um, really thought that was something different to do, and I quite like doing backstitch, so I'll pick that up. So that's whip number one. And then some of these you might have seen in my previous videos, but I'll show you anyway. And then hide in my Anne of Green Gables patchwork paw print again. I've got the with my needle and thread. I collect pin cushion. Um, haven't picked this up since I showed it to you last. Um, just a small start on that. And this is a picture this pushed, um, picture this plus 14 count. And I think, I can't remember the colour, fawn it might be, but it's got some beautiful variegation. So. I've got my Shakespeare's Peddler Vintage Scissors and Spools. That's in there because I'm going to start that after I finish that piece. And I managed to pick up some scissor fabric to go on the back. Which I think will match really nice. I'm going to use um, Classic Colourworks Blackbird all those scissors and spools. Right, on to the next one. I don't know what's in what, so it would be a surprise. Oh, this is my um, Tiny Modernist free autumn pattern. That I showed you last time. Um, it's coming along. I need to put some more stitches in that. So this is 14 count vintage, vintage country mocker. I'm hoping to get that done for next time because I'm um, this year going to do a little autumn display on my windowsill um, and I 
you're gonna um I've got a pumpkin spice tray that I'll show you next time with my new Liberty pumpkins and I'm hoping to to finish this put in my tray. So these are my downstairs whips and then I've got some other whips upstairs. Because I showed you this one before as well. This is Prairie Schooler Boom Boom. I'm just using the DMC on this. So I've finished two already. And I'm working on the witch. That one. So I'm going to make these into either ornaments or little pillows for my pumpkin spice tray. Like those. And I think that's, that's a 14 count. I think it's called khaki. So I've shown you this before. And I haven't put any further stitches in and I must because I do love this. This was a um, stitch along that I've been doing with Amy for Amy Loves Toads. And it's the Brenda Gervais Coffee First. Amy's already finished hers and done it in an amazing pouch that she's got hanging in her kitchen. So I've also been doing this um, with my sister Emily, stitching from Gnome Cottage. I'm doing mostly all the call for colours, um, apart from her dress and the skirt and the top of the dress and I've got the little spoon as well so I haven't put any more stitches in that but I'm going to pull it out and carry on with that um, in the next month and that again is on Vintage Country Mocha 14 count I'm just using um, threads from Stash and a really old piece of Ada. I think it was called Desert Sand. And I think I'm going to pinch this needle minder to put on my Boo Moo Prairie Schooler designs that I just showed you. So I've got a small start on that. It's quite interesting going through your whips and you pull things out and think, oh, I forgot about that. So this one, I think I'm going to bring into rotation because I do like that. I do like that one. sampler September and it's the Blackbird Designs Strawberry Fields Forever. I love this. Anything with strawberries in seem to be quite attracted to. So using um, the DMC colours for this. On the border. So, yeah. I'm going to try and pull this out for sample in September and get a few more stitches in it because that is a lovely piece. So I'll keep that one aside.
Now, I was talking about truffle earlier, the chocolate brown British short hair that my friend owns. And I am doing a cushion for her for Christmas. Uh, this is the backing fabric for kitties. And then I'm modifying this pattern. Found it. So this is from Cross Stitcher magazine and it is March 2019. So it's a little um, scissor keep. So, because truffle is chocolate brown, I'm stitching this with DMC 801. And that's as far as I've got so far. And then what I'm going to do, I've got some other patterns with like um, paw prints. And then we always call her beautiful truffle. So I'm going to put beautiful truffle. And let's get on with this mother stitchy gift. So I'm glad I pulled that out of my whip pile to get on with. And in there, I've got um, Jardin Privé cat lovers because I was thinking that I might put this one in the design as well. But I love this as well. This is on my radar to start at some point. Beautiful. So that one will come out and go into my immediate rotation to try and get some stitches on um, so that I can gift it to my friend for Christmas. Right, the next one is one have previously shown you and it's the design called um, You've Got Mail from Cross Stitcher 2017 and it's the piece that I'm stitching to go above my writing desk. Changing up some of the colours in this and just using DMC. to pull this out but I need to get on with my gift stitching um the secret squirrel stitching section which is a stitching I do for Emily that's going to return next episode um because I just need to um FFO a piece and finish another piece and then I'll be able to show you love this love that telephone and I must finish it this year because I've put my initials and 20 in the post stamp. Betsy Cat's just walked through, so let's hope she doesn't meow too much. Right, the next one is one that I have shown you before, and it's Lavender Farm. Beautiful design. I haven't put too much more on this. So I must get back to this. Michael Powell Christmas Cottages <laughs> I'll be just shutting the door <laughs> There we go 
So I've started up there. I love his work. So that is another one that I must get back to. Too many nice whips. I never know what to stitch on. And so I just start new things. <laughs> so the next one is one that goes in the I picked out by mistake. This goes to show you quickly. Goes in the secret squirrel section, so that will come out next time. This is a long-standing whip that I should be able to get finished pretty soon. And it's the Country Cottage Needlework September house. Just doing my own coats on this from Stash. Should I really pull this out because I haven't got too much to do really. Just the tree. That could be a finish in September. So I'll put that near the top for rotation as well. Not too many more. The next one is one that I could pull out for sampler September and it's another blackbird design it's quite a popular design and it's the away we ride love that show you my progress I'm using all the colourful colours mostly gentle art it's a small start and this again is on the 14 count nostalgia by um, fabric there and it's got a bit of mottling to it so I may pull that out but I would favour strawberry fields over this one Street Samplers Olga. In my Kath Kitson lemon bag. And this sadly has had no, no more stitches in at all. It's a very small start on an oatmeal fader. So we'll get back to this one, but other ones have took priority. last two. This is in my amazing tartan bag that Donna Ray sent me last December. And this one is Brenda Gervais Candy Cane Lane. And I've started with the house. And this is on the 14 count of what they call Yorkshire Ada. Um, and I'm just stitching from stash with that one. And my last whip in this whip parade is Little Dove Designs Holly Jolly Christmas. They've got a um, Christmas stitch along coming nutcracker on and I'd love to do that. Thinking about it. And that's my progress so far. And this is um, 14 count nougat as well I got. So that's 
my lip parade part one. So my plans for September are, I would like to start the Brenda Gervais word play for September. I love that. And I've got m most of the core four colours here. Um, really autumnal feel. So I'm going to start that. I haven't picked my fabric out yet. And then because September is my birthday month and actually on my birthday, which is the 9th, me and my sister are going to start a hawk run. And Emily has got the year of hawk run hollow and I'm going to start the village. So I'm starting up here in this square. And we had quite a long debate about what fabric to use. Um, in the end, I've decided I'm going to use, um, I just ordered a big piece of 18 count ivory. Because it's quite full coverage and I just felt the um, hand dyed, it was going to be so expensive. So I just thought, well, I'm just going to go for the traditional ivory. Um, and so it made it a bit more affordable. Um, and I've done a working copy of the first square and I've got all my DMCs ready. So I'm really looking forward to doing that first square. So I'll show you the progress in my next episode. So I think that's everything I've got for you today. Um, hoping to come back um, in a couple of weeks after I've started the Hawk Run Hollow um, to show you the progress on that and my other autumn pieces and also to show you the pumpkin spice tray with the leaf LED lights and the Liberty pumpkins. Um, so that'd be in a couple of weeks time. So. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and press the little bell so you'll get the notification. And leave me a comment below. Um, I love reading them all. What you're working on, what your autumn plans are, um, where you are in the world. Um, and if you've got any questions as well, I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, and so until next time, take care, stay well, bye, happy stitching.